Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you with more 2019 Bowman Baseball. This is eight box jumbo. Pick your team number five from Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Big thank you to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. 41919, eight box jumbo, PYT5. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. And we got Paul Whitlock with the Blue Jays. Got the Blue Jays in a spot random. So congrats to him. I, think I uploaded that video already, right? Yeah, I did. Awesome. So let's go with this one. Eight boxes. Three autos a box. <laughs> Not during business hours, Ryan. All right, so here's all eight boxes right here. Four and four, left and right. Three autos per box, so you're looking at 24 autographs total, which is great. Um, who do we? Let's do a quick roll call here. Who do we have in Pick Your Team 5? Let us know what team you have, who you're looking for. And um, for those of you who are watching the replay, we do have, uh, we are doing recap videos for these hour long breaks. So be sure to look out for that if you don't wanna watch the entire video. Oh, I guess they take more than an hour, but. What's for dinner? Food. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> paper base, Bowman baseball paper base. All right, good luck. We got a little uh, Dodgers Brewers radio, Dodgers radio in the background. Oh, makes the catch, huh? Cody Bellinger's been raking. He's two for three on the day with a, with a home run already. Where's our first autograph? I haven't even seen it yet. There it is. Nope, that's Royce Lewis blue paper to 150. And we got Genesis Cabrera and Bowman Sterling. Come on, Justin Turner. And there's our first autograph, 250 out of 499, Ryan Costello. Oh, there's Vince Scully doing Mercedes-Benz commercials, ladies and gentlemen. There's Ryan Costello for the Twins, Jeremy Anderson with the Twins. You guys remember Frank Costello? 
I remember Frank Costello from The Departed. Um, the guy in The Departed, Frank Costello, was based off of old uh, Boston gangster Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger was caught recently in Santa Monica, in my in my town. That's where I live, and he was he was caught just a like less than a mile away from where I live. It was kind of crazy. And it's like and he, he's just been there with his living with his girlfriend for like the last twenty years or something like that. It was kind of crazy thinking that it's like oh, there's a there's a a wanted gangster living in the town, just just living his life. He could have just looked like any old man. At a two ninety nine, there's Ryan Costello again. It's another one for the Twins, Speckle. There's uh, Genesis Cabrera again, Atomic to 150. Rick Monday does color commentary for our radio broadcast. Who are your guys' uh, radio guys, baseball radio announcers? Anyone, any former players that we that we may remember? Usually it's um, usually it's Charlie Steiner from member Charlie Steiner from the ESPN days. Charlie Steiner and um, Rick Monday does color commentary. Oh, nice, Luis Urias Bowman Sterling autograph, 97 out of 99. That's strong. Nice one for the Friars. John Anderson with that one. Okay, usually Charlie Steiner and Rick Monday. Old Dodger Rick Monday. Wait, does, does Bob Euchre do radio? For the Brewers? There you go. He does. Bob Euchre is classic radio guy for the, uh, for the Milwaukee Brewers. Wait, he doesn't. Does he do TV? Is, is that Euchre? Oh, there's a good name, G-Lo. Did you ever listen to Rex Hudler? He's on the Royals, but used to broadcast for the Angels. Yeah, I remember that. Rex Hudler did a lot of TV. At least here in LA, he did. He did. He did TV, and you would see him on post and pregame shows on Fox Sports West or whatever it's called now. 121 out of 499, Jad Chisholm. So he's with the he's on the Royals broadcast now. Does he do TV or radio? I guess the uh, the Reds TV broadcaster or radio broadcaster has been doing it for like 40, 50 years or something like that. I think he, I think he's retiring after this year. And there's Rylan Bannon. Rylan Bannon is our third autograph out of our first box. This is pick your team number five. You didn't like him at first, but then you realized how much more lively he is. He's TV only. Got it. Yeah. Um, no, I, th I didn't think Rex Hodler was was bad at all. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know if he left for the Royals or if he was. Contract was not renewed, or whatever the case was, or Royals hired him for more money, or whatever the case may be. I don't know what the circumstances was, but I think it was it's pretty well liked in in, uh, in the Southern California area. But yeah, it's always weird hearing a new voice. You know what I mean? You know when Vin uh, when Vin Scully retired. I think that was definitely like a – took a lot of getting used to, you know.
And he uh, he was replaced by Joe Davis, who I think college sports fans may know Joe Davis as a broadcaster. I think he does college football. With I think he gets paired with Brady Quinn kind of often. So we got Joe Davis doing baseball for us. And color commentator on TV is Oral Hershiser. Which is not a bad team. They actually do pretty they actually do pretty well. Alright, here is the next one. Rex gets trolled a lot on air. What does he get? What does he get trolled for? And there's Ryland Bannon. We ended the first box with Ryland Bannon. We start the second box with Ryland Bannon and pick your team five. 99 out of 250. So a couple for Bill Anton and the O's. Rufi O. Ball four, ball eight, ball 12. Ricky Vaughn has loaded the bases. There's Seth Beer, mmm, beer, to 250. Oh, he dumbs down his baseball talk a little too much and makes really obvious statements. Kind of like Madden. I don't think I had a problem with Rex Hudler. I feel like, I feel like he was kind of like a... I don't know, like... You know, just kind of a kind of a jock, right? Meatheady kind of jock sort of dude and sometimes says those obvious things, but he's got a fun personality though, so uh, he, could, he could position himself like a John Madden, I think. There's Aaron Savali for the Tribe. That goes to Jordan Cohen and the Indians. Don't blow it, Joe Kelly. Out of four ninety nine, Jake Cave. That's paper to four ninety nine. We got Daz Cameron, Blue Shimmer to 150.
Dust off your Alex Verdugo cards, folks. He's been getting a lot of playing time, playing well. Kershaw made a start recently. He's been he's looked good so far. Very nice, efficient outing against the Reds. And nice, Ronaldo Hernandez. Speckle, 101 to 299. It's a nice one for the Tampa Bay Rays. Giuseppe with the Rays. Come on, Joe Kelly. Oh, I guess it was pass ball then. Austin Barnes is fall. Come on, Austin Barnes. There's Ian Anderson, 499 for the Braves. Josh Pruce with the Bravos. Who is Jason Momoa? Jason Momoa shaved his beard for the first time since 2012. Rex's man crush has, has hurt him deeply. All right, next box. I did just ask. I have no idea who that person is. Is this an actor? Is this a ball player? Is this a professional wrestler? Is this a... Uh oh, they got him. Huh? Aquaman, Stargate, Atlantis, Game of Thrones. I've not seen Aquaman. I've never seen Stargate. I've never seen Atlantis, and I've never seen Game of Thrones. So there you go. That's why I don't know. I've seen one episode of Game of Thrones. Apparently it was a crucial one. But I didn't know who those characters were, so it didn't really stick with me. The wedding one, where people die. Um, why did he shave his, uh, why did he shave his beard? <laughs> Andrew was like, come on, man. It's called Drogo, whoever that is. Drago? I know Ivan Drago. There's Andrew Knizer. Is that who Jason Momo is? He's a Drago? There's Andrew Knizer or Nisner. That goes to the Cardinals, Michael Mendelssohn with the Redbirds.
clear interest in your long-term system. Come see our new line of hands-free shavers and other compact machines that say they Oh, he shaved it for charity. Yeah, that's a good thing. All right, there's Ryan Weathers, blue chrome to 150 for the Friars. Was he the main character in Aquaman? I've seen the I've seen the trailer, so if so, that's an impressive beard. There's Kevin Pillar to four ninety nine. And Brandon Rogers to four ninety nine. Like a puzzle. One strike in the pitch. It is one ball away, and it's one ball and one strike now. Patricia coming on, and that one's high and wide. It's two balls and a strike. Patricia appearing in his fourth game. And we've got Dom Thompson Williams as your speckle autograph. Is that 001? No, it's 81 out of 299. That's for the Yankees. Kai Hang with that one. Yeah, I, I, I could, I'd like to see more puzzle pieces and products, Rex. I'm with you on this. Encouraging the building of, uh, of sets, if you will. Albert Abreu to 125 for the Yankees. Ooh, a nice redemption coming up. I don't think we've seen this guy. It's Chrome Rookie Autograph. This is our first look at Yusai Kikuchi. Nice. The, uh, the Japanese rookie for the Mariners, Darren Porter. D. Porter. There you go, Darren. I feel like he's had a pretty pretty decent start to his major league career. Oh. Sorry, Darren. Should have let it dry a little bit. All right. And Kai Hang is here. It just needs an Aaron Judge auto now. All right, we'll try to find one of those. The... Those vet autos are a little bit harder to find in a prospect heavy product, but every once in a while they pop out of here. What do I need? Oh, meth sticks, so I can eat a meth, eat some meth. I think that's how you do it, right? I'm pretty sure. They're like Mentos, right? They're chewy and they taste good. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we'd, we'd be able to break for 24 hours. Eat a meth, a 20 case break in five minutes. A little bit. We got Cito Sanchez, 250, purple chrome for the Pirates. And there you go. Another box in the books. All right. Good luck, everybody. How are my picks doing today, ladies and gentlemen? We've got, did the Orioles win? Come on, O's. No, they're tied at five at the end of the at the end of the end 10th inning, going into the top of the 11th. All right. Dodgers, Bre I picked the Brewers. Brewers are in I don't mind if I lose that bet because that means the Dodgers won. What about the Rockies? I think the Rockies are up 4-2 in the bottom of the 7th in Colorado. Okay, looking good there. Angels? Angels are down by five runs. I might not win that one. What about the Reds? Reds are up one nothing in the bottom of the third. Nice. So, so that, that's where I have my financial interests tonight. Let's see how it all pans out at the end of the night. All right. Next box. Let's see how this turns out for you guys and girls tonight. Yelts with another home run. Three one Brewers. How how far did that go? ESPN Gamecast saying took a ninety two mile per hour cutter straight center field. Four hundred and thirty five feet. Jesus. There he is, your reigning NL MVP. Death Rage. Wow. Brock Death Rage. Death Rage. Death Rage. Brock Death Rage going to John Booth and the Tigers. Death Rage. Death Rage. That should be his song. That's a genre of music, Death Rage. Yeah, what do you listen to? Death Rage. Bob Euchre is a color commentator that doesn't really color commentate a lot. That's kind of funny. I guess I, I wouldn't either. Uh, Blaze Alexander to 499. Uh, cyan paper. 
four ninety nine. Diamondbacks, Richard with that one. Or whose name? Death Rage. I'm I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like De Deathrage or De Deathrage or something like that. Out of 150, nice Casey Mize atomic. That goes to John Booth. Oh, and there's the autograph. That's Vince Fernandez, 263 out of 499. That'll be for the Rocks. Darren Porter with the Rockies. Sure did. Sure did, Bob. His heart, yeah. Justin Verlander, 250 purple paper. There's Andres Jimenez to four ninety nine. Go through those again. Sorry, this is all the paper and some chrome. And Joey Bart, look at that. Kyle with the Giants. Nice Joey Bart autograph. That's the first one we've seen. It's only a matter of time. There you go. First round, second overall pick. Future Buster Posey. Little Oppo Joe Mojo as well, Kyle. Nice. Victor Victor Mesa, Talent Pipeline. We got Will uh, William Contreras. It's Wilson's brother, the two ninety nine. William with two L's, and Wilson with two L's. Folks, we are officially halfway through this break. Four boxes to go, and this eight box picker team number five. We'll be switching gears a little bit after after this in about half an hour to do some status basketball. Then we'll dive into some Bowman hobby. That'll, that should bring us right to the end of the night. Oh, 
All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Not the cleanest of saves from Kenley Jansen. All right, next box, ladies and another three autographs. So far, so good. Been a great case of, thus far. Maybe this is the case with the Super Fractor. We haven't seen one of those yet. Ronaldo Hernandez for the Rays. That's going to go to Giuseppe. Dodgers win. Nice. I'll take that, folks. I had a little financial interest in the Brew Crew, but I'm okay with that. Trade that for a Dodger W. Casey Mize to 499. See, my supposedly the real deal. And Connor Capel, 237 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for the tribe. Jordan Cohen with the Indians. Nice. There's Edwin Diaz to four ninety nine. That is for the Mets. Bo Bichette. That's Dante Bichette's kid to four ninety nine. Blue Jays have a have a whole core of crop of players that are players' as sons from back in the day. Nice. 
What do we got here behind Mitch Keller is Dom Thompson Williams Gold Shimmer. That card is gold. 26 out of 50 for the Yankees. Kai Hang with that one. There you go. Nice. DTW. Dust off your Julio Urias rookie cards, folks. I think he is getting settled into the season. Both Walker Bueller, Julio Urias can be the, the pitching answers, starting pitching answers the Dodgers definitely use. There's Taylor Trammell to 250, 117 out of 250. And that's that for this box. All right, three boxes to go. All right, what other, what, other, what other scores do we have going on here today, folks? The Dodgers just beat the Brewers 3-1. The Orioles game still in progress. They're in the bottom of the 11th. The O's went up a run. They're up 6-5 on the Tampa Bay Rays. Rockies still leading the Phillies 6-2 in the top of the 8th. Angels scored a couple runs to, to cut the lead. To three, Mariners are up 5-2. Reds are up 1-0 on the Padres. Each team only has a couple hits apiece. Looks like a nice pitching duel here going into the top of the fifth. It's a final in Atlanta. The Diamondbacks beat the Braves 4-1. In Washington, the Nationals beat the Giants 4-2. Some of the earlier games, Tigers beat the White Sox 9-7, Blue Jays beat the Twins 7-4, and Royals took care of the Yankees 6-2-1. Homer Bailey winning consecutive starts for the first time for Kansas City since 2017. That's a good job holding the Yankees to just one run, looks like. Looks like uh, Randall Grichuk, Justin Smoke, Teoscar Hernandez all hit home runs in that Blue Jays victory. Nikaias Santanos had three hits and drove in a pair of runs to lead the Tigers to victory, ending their five-game losing streak. Next box, another three autographs. Good luck, everybody. I'll take a look at my fantasy team, how that's doing. Next box. Jose De La Cruz, a 250 purple paper.
Oh, we're getting some score updates from the Brewers Radio Network. I already, I already gave him the score updates. I already gave it to him. Don't need it. Don't need to do it. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the Rays are up to. All right, there's Brady Singer. Nice autograph for the Royals. Speaking of the Royals, Parker Wilson with KC. And there's Lion Richardson, 62 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for, for Tyler. Tyler B. and the Red Legs. Wait, I'm on the Orioles. I got to go to the Orioles broadcast. Financial interest in the Orioles. There's Luke and Baker, 36 out of 125 for the Cardinals. It's going to go to Michael Mendelson and the Redbirds. Cody Bellinger, another home run today for him. Yelch had a home run today, too. In the top of the ninth, or bottom of the ninth. Next autograph, the third of the box, three of three, is Ronnie Mauricio. For the Metropolitans, Armando with the Mets. So there's our three autos right there. Nice. Now let's see if we have any fun parallels here. And then we've got two more boxes to go in this jumbo number five. Almost there, boys and girls. Almost there. Stay on target.
we do have another parallel before this box is out. It's Sean Murphy. 7 out of 50. Gold. For the A's, Andrew. There you go. Good job, O's. I had financial interest in the Orioles. Got that one. What's what's the next game we can listen to? Uh, I got Rockies. I got Rockies and Phillies. I'm on the Rockies tonight. Let's go to the Rockies radio broadcast. All right, next box. Rockies are leading, I think. Yeah, Rockies are up 6-2. I've gained, gained seven points on the day. My rotisserie league, roto league. Get a point for whatever position you're in in a particular category. Austin Barnes, for me, at catcher, went 0 for 3 with a walk. I need him to do a little bit better in my catching spot. Catching, so there's not enough catchers in the league, though. There's Justin Smoke. We, we talked about him. He had a homer. 1 for 4. Home run, 2 RBIs. Nice. I'll take that. Kettle Marte, 0 for. Did not want that. DJ LeMay, who 0 for. Did not want that. Machado, 0 for 2, but... Still uh, should be able to get another couple of bats in the game. Luri Garcia needed him for steals, oh for five. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do like Eddie Rosario, two for four, couple home runs, two RBIs. Nice, like two solo shots. I like the. Uh, I like Eddie Rosario. I think I think Eddie Rosario could start using his speed a little bit more. He could be a 2020 guy, maybe even more. We got two out of four, Jonathan Scope, Sean Green, or Shane Green had a save, I think Kenley Jansen had a save, and I started Urias today who had a great day. Nine strikeouts for him. I don't know, we haven't seen too many Rangers. EA. I did, did you see the last video though? I think you'll be happy with the last break we did. All right. We've got six more autographs to go. Three from this box and three from the last box here in Jumbo number five. And then we'll have Hobby 6 coming up, or Status Basketball, and then Hobby 6 to close out the night. There's Brent Honeywell to 125. Definitely need some angels up in this too, right? Yeah, there you go. You're welcome, EA. I, I thought you'd like that Ryan Sandberg and the uh, Atomic Amaya. A couple of Mayas in that one. Angels, we, we've been a little... Dry on the Angels, too, huh? I feel like we haven't seen any significant Angels. Still have a decent amount of autographs to go, so that's pretty good. Six autos. That's like half a hobby case of autos to go. There's some Giants. Marco Luciano. 271 out of 499 for Kyle and the Giants. We saw Joey Bart a little bit earlier, you guys. That was pretty nice. It's our first one. We haven't seen Vlad Guerrero Jr. I think that's like the next kind of big name we need to get. And Tatis Jr. So the juniors. Looking for those guys as well.
Yeas and for a, a Martinez for the Rangers. See, so yeah, we, we haven't seen this guy's autograph yet. Ethan Hankins for the Tribe to 299. You think they're holding Vlad back on the autos front? I mean, he's on the checklist. He's got to be in here somewhere. And we've got not a Martinez, but a Jonathan Hernandez. One, uh, it's kind of hard to see with the speckle there. 135 out of 299 EA and the Rangers. There are your Rangers. Actually, that's our second autograph of the box. We'll keep track of the three right here. Chris NC01 saying NFL, uh, NBA. MLB. NHL. There's Dustin May. 136 out of 150, Atomic. There you go, no worries, EA. We'll find, try to find the other guy. Plenty of autos left. There's Justin Verlander to 150, blue paper, and then Matt Mercer to 50, gold paper. Yeah, that's what I meant too, Jason. I don't, maybe they maybe they do that. I don't know. I would think they would want to put them in there so people will want to buy more boxes and be like, hey, everybody's in here. I don't know. I mean, we've done a lot of boxes, but this is still a pretty small sample size. You know, there could be some other some other person busting this stuff open, and we we're getting Wander Francos, and he's getting Fernando Tatis Juniors. You know what I mean? There's Eloy Jimenez, nice. David Duffy with the White Sox. I think it's the first Eloy Jimenez we've seen. This is your presumptive AL Rookie of the Year. I don't know if anybody else is going to challenge him. There you go, in his White Sox gear. Now, this has been a strong case so far. So those are your three autographs of the box. Let's see who, let's see who we got. I think any other parallels, maybe? Nope. 
Last box coming up. Then we'll do a quick recap video and then we'll get into the next break. And then the next one after that and that will probably bring us to the end of the night. Good luck everybody. Oh, I, I mean, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want there to be too many Vlad's wa wanders and Tatises. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're the ones that got like the three wanders already, while someone else is getting the Tatises and the Vlad's. I was kind of hoping for some Tatises and Vlad's, as they are a little more present. I think Wander Franco is still like a couple of years away, right? But I'm not, I'm, I wonder, I don't think they're actually holding. It's not like they have a, Tops has like a stack of Vlad Guerrero Jr. autographs sitting around going, okay, let's wait till, because all this stuff has been printed, printed. I don't know. Hopefully we'll find some. Still have plenty of cases to work through. There could be a case with three of them inside. Wow, interesting. So you've seen a lot of wanderers around. You saw one guy on the tube. Four or four cases with him and it was hot. Wow. One, last one. Three autographs in this one. Good luck, everybody. We've got for the Cubs, Keegan Thompson, 146 out of 150 for EA. There you go, Eric. Next one is going to be, let's see who it's going to, who could it be now? Who could it be now? Do, 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 do. There's Cal Quantrill out of 499. That's Paul's kid. Paul Quantrill, if you remember him. And we've got some Rockies listening to the Rockies radio right now. Roberto Ramos. Colorado Rockies, that's D. Porter with the Rocks. You can go, Darren.
Should be expecting one more autograph, last autograph of the uh, of this particular break. Pick your team five. Out of four ninety nine, there's Brewer Hicken, Hicklin. Tuki Toussaint will be making a start tomorrow. Oh, here it is. It's a 30th anniversary autograph. Casey Mize. Nice. Good way to end it. 16 out of 30. Nice one for the Tigers. John Booth with the Tigers. Top pick in the draft. First overall last year out of college, so I think we'll be seeing him in a seeing him in a big league uniform sooner rather than later. College kids come up a little bit earlier. All right, nice. Good way to end this long break. Thanks for hanging with me, folks. We're almost there. Just double checking to see if we have any parallels. We have not seen a super fractor yet. I saw a printing plate. No super yet. We're not going to see a super auto, but maybe we'll see just a super fractor, which would be cool. So Eloy Jimenez, Casey Mize, we had Joey Bart in this stack too. This is a pretty nice, been a pretty nice break. There's a Williams Astudio to 4.99 paper. There's Reggie Lawson, Blue Shimmer Chrome to 150 for the Friars. And that, my friends, is that D Hell Hall closes things out. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team number five, eight box jumbo, 2019 Bowman Baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for next time for the next one.